tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years Rahman Music Sheets Till now on Rahman Music Sheets we featured Mani Ratnam talking about his association with AR Rahman Just in case you missed them links to those episodes are in the description This special episode brings you AR Rahman talking about Mani Ratnam about what this association means for him I recently have just called him even my guru because for a musician it's not only people who teach music as a guru it's also people who uh, for me actually like any musician you know I was more interested in the in the intricacies of uh, in the intricacies of chords and harmony and ragas and all the stuff but then with him he would go by the impact of the music and that's something which i learned from him like how a song could impact in a certain way when it's produced in a certain way and how we can mix certain two different styles to make it unique and uh, for example the there's a song called titi in thirudada which i made like a lullaby and i i played him a commercial which i did and then he came comes to me and says can you mix these two and for me by musical sensibilities it's it's probably sacrilege to do that and uh, this is a whole new way of thinking which i learned from him particularly and then i went moved on to which was easy for me when i went to england i could i could sense what he was trying to do in in i could see in paintings i could see in other you know part work rehman and mani ratnam are together again in the mega budget period film punian selvan as we go on air all aspects of the film are closely under wrap from roja in 1992 onwards their creative collaboration has been longer than any other in indian cinema what's the secret is it the comfort level that has set in or the zone of discomfort that allows them to rediscover themselves every time how was the beginning was it smooth sailing or fraught with storms it's a crazy thing he he worked with mr ile raja and uh, both of them complemented each other so well they've done amazing movies together nayak and mona ragam and talabadi and all the stuff and so he also gave a statement saying that he would never work with anybody else in the world so at that point of time when um, and money came in and he said i want you to do this movie i was kind of numb i was like yeah okay maybe you will find me tomorrow <laughs> you know kind of little bit of pessimistic thing which in me so i didn't believe that it really would happen so but it really happened and then when i was doing it and we were also uh trying to set some standards because the way it was the the music reproduction was different film re- reproduction was different but i didn't want to compromise and go back to 10 years before i i was trying to go forward but when 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 things are not in the same wavelength and then you try to go forward it only brings a lot of frustration and that happened and but i had a very good team i had uh, my sound engineer shridha and then my family my mother and my sisters and all of them were really encouraging and all my friends because it's it was a very new turn around it was uh, something major which is going to happen I could feel that but at the same time I was not sure about the success or failure or anything It's because um normally a movie would finish in in 7 days 3 days songs would be recorded 4 days background score would be recorded And because we were taking such a task to make the the music breathe in uh, in its own way in musicality in sound in production and in sensibilities can you just explain the kind of sound quality you were trying to achieve through roja um is just the sensibilities i would say because sometimes when you i used to listen to because i was working in film music i never used to listen to film music i would listen to something else i would just want to put my brain into something else and you know i would listen to john williams and vangelis and chinese records and all other things and then the moment you put those records they had a fidelity which was really really good and film music because it had to be rolled off at 7k because of magnetic and optical used to suffer this quality drop 
which in a way we start liking now because it makes you want to listen to the song alone, no extra frills. Even in the 60s or 70s, there's a warmth in that quality too. But then you, with that one quality alone, you can't deny all these people the amazing bandwidth of, you know, music, which could be produced. And, uh, and that's the thing when, you know, when I worked with my sound engineer Sridhar and he, both of us are very passionate and we would just discuss about how would this come out, how will this master come out. And even when we delivered the masters, uh, we will hear back the cassette and it will be only like 30%. So the master was rejected almost seven times or something. And the eighth time, we, by the time the, the film had to release and we compromised. So it's a, it's a whole Still frustrating, st frustrating story about the whole thing. And all these things were a question mark, which I think, again, was a blessing of God. It worked out. And, uh, and then was a problem. <laughs> You know, all the music was, it was only in my intention. It was probably never there within me. And it all came about as a combination of a team of the script, director, and, and the story and all the stuff. Then I realized that, would I be able to do something more? Or I'm exhausted all. And that question came about. And, and then you're on your toes, like, Am I going to do it? Am I not going to do it? Is it going to come? Is it like a, is it going to stop? You know, all these questions come in and when, when it happens, then you become even more close to God saying that, thank you so much. And it still happens now. I still don't know whether I'll get a tune today. <laughs> the song Bharat Hamko Jaan Se Pyara Hai. I believe it was originally planned as a song of Tamil pride and later adapted for Roja. Tell me something about it. It was... You know, I think as a musician, you suddenly, um, your expression comes through music. And when you see something, um, you know, people being oppressed or there's a kind of discrimination, then immediately, as a musician, I wanted to do that song. I think there was state and state, two states fighting. And uh, it was minor, of course, but, and this, these words came to me, you know, Tamara, Tamara, and the Tamara version was done first. But I didn't know that, um, so I played it to Money and then he fitted in so beautifully to the movie. And then we did the chorus and, and that's what happens when, uh, when you do a creative, you have a great creative team, they adapt to ideas, each other's ideas, and then it, it mingles, as, becomes as one. And when that really works out, it's amazing. And that's when unconventional stuff comes in and people kind of celebrated, I would say. Otherwise, what happens is when a, when a writer writes a script, he says, okay, here's a song. The song's about separation. The song's about, uh, you know, they're going to Switzerland and uh, singing this duet. Here, this, this is done in a disco. So there's preset situations which have worked, so they want to be safe. But when you want to um, go further, you, you have to mingle with your team and then you have to discuss and then you sometimes have to even change your script to fit something beautiful. So when I do some, certain films, uh, certain songs stick out because somewhere our team failed to, you know, integrate it well in the movie. And sometimes it, it, it's celebrated because it's beautifully integrated. And it's unfortunate. Sometimes we don't realize what is good and we realize that, oh my God, this is what should have been done. This song should have been the song of the movie but it was just used as a, uh, like a background song, you know, things like that. And it doesn't come in a particular order sometimes, you know, it comes sometimes in the last moment when you just, when you really dissolve in the, in the script and, and the sensibilities of the movie, it comes very late sometimes. So that is also a problem. The Bombay theme track, tell me something about it. I believe it was done in uh, one night. Um, yes, in a way, the theme of Bombay actually, uh, when I heard the, the movie, the story of movie, because we, all of us were affected mentally and, uh, you know, emotionally. And um, so this tune came in and I said, this is a tune for this, this movie. And this could be the, the theme tune for 
and, and Maniratnam was ex expecting a song tune from me and I said, I don't have a song but I have this. And so, so he heard it and he was very moved. And then, and then we started, once the movie was made, we started posting it on the movie and it felt really good. 30 years, 150 plus films later, one wonders how A.R. Rahman looks back at his own journey. Music is not a job which is authorized or which, which is talked about with pride because uh, if you have a, if you're a master, if you're a um, extraordinary classical musician, then they are celebrated. But what about others? You, they never come into limelight. And so for me, constant refinement was one. What can I do next? What can I practice next? How good can I be uh, to survive this journey, which is not a socially safe one. And um, but in the process of Engaging in music, you forget all this and you start to live with the happiness which music gives. And that led me to, uh, of course, Mani Ratnam and then Roja and all the love of people which I got and still getting. And that still drives me to do music. Rahman, the key architect of the global age of Indian film music, continues to set new trends and conquer new vistas. Meanwhile, next on our timeline, we bring you the director of A.R. Rahman's debut film in Hindi, Rangila. Yes, you guessed it right. In our next episode, it's Ram Gopal Verma. Stay with us. Rahman Music Sheets will continue to track his incredible journey to superstardom connecting you with his creative partners, also engaging with musicians he inspired. If you have reinterpreted or recreated Rahman's music, share your videos. If selected, you will get featured on Rahman Music Sheets. To submit your videos, log on to our website o2-india.com.